Hi, I'm Kevin Schindler here at Lowell Observatory, and we're standing in front of the world-famous 117-year-old Clark Telescope. Let's take a walk back in time. Here we are inside the Clark Telescope Dome. When we stand in this dome, it's really an interesting feeling because it feels like we're walking back in time. It feels like we're sort of in a Jules Verne novel. We've got these old wooden walls, and when we look around the dome, this, this dome and this telescope are literally oozing with personality and history and nostalgia. The telescope was built in 1896, um, and it was uh, because of the interest of Percival Lowell. Uh, Percival Lowell was interested in Mars and the possibility of intelligent life there. So he decided to build an observatory away from city lights um, in the dark areas of the American Southwest at a high elevation um, where he could be closer to the heavens and the quality of seeing was better. In 1896, he had ordered this new telescope from the Alvin Clark and Sons uh, manufacturers of Cambridge, Massachusetts, and they were the preeminent telescope makers of their time. Today it remains one of the largest refracting type telescopes ever built. And for decades it was used for important research, starting with Percival Lowell's studies of Mars and his controversial ideas of life on Mars. Probably the most important discovery ever made, not only with this telescope, but here at Lowell Observatory, is the first evidence of the expanding nature of the universe, which a fellow named V.M. Slipher did um, a century ago in 1912. One of the last major research projects with this was mapping the moon for the Apollo program. This telescope and others around the world like it were used to create very intricate maps of the moon that would look through the telescope at night aimed at the moon and then during the daytime they would sketch in details using airbrushes and create very detailed uh, maps of the lunar surface. Over the last 20 years more than a million people have looked through this telescope. When I looked through the Clark Telescope this evening, uh, I never saw anything that grand and beautiful. You just can't believe that you're seeing it as clearly as you are. I was in awe the whole time. You are there. Like you're part of that that seems to be so far away, yet you're there, basically. It always amazes me to see how much there is out there in this universe. So now, when I look in the sky from home in Minnesota, I'll be thinking about the little cluster of stars that I saw there and the nebula that was there. And the telescope itself is just amazing to think of how long ago they made that. It's time to restore the Clark Telescope. Some of the parts in this instrument haven't been repaired or cleaned since it was built in 1896. With your help, we can ensure that future generations are able to enjoy this instrument. Please go to lowell.edu and click on the Clark Telescope icon. Thanks so much for your support, and we'll see you up here on Mars Hill.